Making movies is dangerous business, and making exciting movies can be downright deadly. It's not all special effects. There's real danger that goes along with all that big screen magic. Here's a look at a few famous movie scenes that nearly killed actors. Daniel Day-Lewis Despite Daniel Day-Lewis's habit of putting himself in danger for his roles, no stunts were as dangerous as the pneumonia the actor contracted on the set of Gangs of New York after refusing to wear anything other than his ragged 19th century wardrobe coat, despite frigid temperatures. He also apparently fought random strangers while filming in Rome just to keep in character as the violent Bill the Butcher, who he described to The Independent as, "...a bit of a punk, a marvelous character and a joy to be, but not so good for my physical or mental health." A quote-unquote joy to be is an interesting way to describe getting your butt kicked by Italian randos. But then again, we're talking about a guy who spent three years getting punched in the head to prepare for the boxer by former champ Barry McWiggan. So maybe everything he says isn't going to make the most sense. I drink your milkshake! Jennifer Lawrence Accident-prone Jennifer Lawrence has a habit of taking public spills, but it was no laughing matter when a smoke machine malfunctioned and almost suffocated her on the set of The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1. According to an insider on the set, filming came to an abrupt halt when this fog machine broke and began spewing so much dense smoke during a tunnel sequence that Jennifer literally disappeared from sight. Luckily, she escaped with only a bit of vertigo and nausea, but this wasn't the only time the Hunger Games series knocked her around. During training, she ran into a wall, sparking rumors that she had damaged her spleen. Oh, sorry. Spleen juice. Which turned out to be false. But the next time everyone freaks out when Lawrence asks to be paid the same as her male co-stars, maybe we should all remember that she's willing to bleed for our entertainment. Joseph Gordon-Levitt after safely starring in a Batman movie, a time-traveling assassin movie, and a G.I. Joe movie, Joseph Gordon-Levitt was almost killed while playing a bike messenger. While 30 miles per hour might not sound too fast, cruising between moving cars at that speed on a bike is pretty serious. A taxi drove over safety cones during filming of Premium Rush and cut Gordon-Levitt off, sending him through the rear windshield and badly slicing up his forearm. Joe got the award for most stitches with 31 when he went through the back window of a cab. It's funny how much attention you'll get when there's some blood involved. <laughs> this is Joe's bike, and that's where he ended up. Director David Kep feared he was dead, and later told MTV. And you're, you know, for about 15 seconds before I could get there and see what happened, I'm thinking, did I kill him? Did I, did I, did I actually kill an actor? Gordon Levitt actually laughed the whole thing off. But we wonder if he thought it was so funny when the movie's worldwide gross came in $4 million below the production budget. <laughs> Jackie Chan The list of Jackie Chan's endless onset injuries is basically a medical encyclopedia of busted up body parts. But his injury on the set of Armor of God 2 was the worst of all. Compared to some of the stuff he's done, like sliding down the side of a skyscraper and getting hit by a real flying helicopter, the Armor of God 2 stunt was tame. All he had to do was jump into a tree, but he missed and fell to the ground, smacking his head on a rock, which sent a piece of his skull into his brain. The injury required brain surgery and a metal plate implanted in Chan's skull. Amazingly, this happened in the early 90s, and Chan continued to make many more films, performing almost all of his own stunts. In other words, the exact opposite of what any normal person would do. But then, Jackie Chan isn't a normal person. I want to be a apprentice first. Ah, oh, difficult. Donald Sutherland. Most of the people on this list were badly injured, and yes, could have been killed in their onset accidents. But none went through quite the nightmare Donald Sutherland endured, because he actually died. On the set of Kelly's Heroes in 1968, Sutherland contracted bacterial meningitis from the Danube River and had an out-of-body experience. His description of the incident is truly chilling. The downward journey slowed and stopped. I'd been on my way to being dead when some memory of the desperate rigor I'd applied to survive all my childhood illnesses pulled me back, forced me to live. I was alive. I'd come out of the coma, sick as a dog, but alive. Both poetic and terrifying all at once. Sutherland took over six weeks to recover, at which point his contract forced him back on screen, with his brain still fried, afraid of water and heights, and according to him, constantly weeping. Don't hit me with them negative waves so early in the morning. Jason Statham. Action star Jason Statham knew exactly what to expect when Sylvester Stallone asked him back for The Expendables 3. Except for the fact that he'd almost get drowned, blown up, or crushed to death. Whichever one of those happens when you accidentally drive a truck off a loading dock. Something went wrong with the brakes in Statham's vehicle, causing the truck to quickly plunge 60 feet. But Statham, who once competed as an Olympic diver, was able to get free. The survival sort of kicks in and you 
pull yourself out the window, you stop grabbing at the water and trying to get to the Did surface. Did you see anything? Was it dark? Nah, I mean, they don't call it the Black Sea for no reason. Apparently, Sly was unconconcerned. I look out, I said, where's Sly? And he's, you know, stood on the side of the dock there with his iPhone, like that, going, hey, uh, Jason, you need a towel? <laughs> Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love, too.